Jake DeGrom and the Mets take on Chase Anderson and the Blue Jays this Friday, September the 11th. The NFL season is finally here, and to kick it off, we're offering you a new promo code. Type in NFL20 and save yourself 20% site-wide. Welcome to Picks and Parlays. Both of these teams have been really exciting to watch. I've got Tim Michael on the line to tell us all about him. Tim, how's your week been treating you? Oh, pretty good, Allie. Pretty good. Here yourself? Can't complain. Had a couple good days in a row. Keep on trucking through the weekend, see what we can't do. One of the games I'm definitely looking at is this Mets and Blue Jays game. The Mets are a big favorite here, like they usually are when DeGrom pitches, minus 185. We've got a total of eight and a half. That started out at eight and moved its way on up. What do you think about this one? Well, you know, when I first looked at it, they were at uh, minus 130. Now, you know what? I'm still going to go with them. I, they were a slight favorite before, but like you mentioned, they're a big favorite now. Let's go with it. Yeah. And that's pretty much based primarily on the starting pitchers, right? You got uh, both these teams are in a tight playoff race right now. They're, they're, they're trying to make the playoffs. They're both equally as hungry. So I'm going to throw that fact that they're hungry teams right out the window. They're both hungry. New York, though, goes with ace Jacob DeGrom, right, with this game, as you mentioned before today, uh, who was 3-1 mm -hmm. with a 1.69 ERA and a 0 0.88 whip. DeGrom most recently threw September 6th, and he allowed one run with two walks while striking out 12 over seven innings in a commanding victory over the Phillies. Uh, DeGrom, well, as you know, he is a machine, and he's going to outduel his counterpart as he enters with a sparkling 70 to 11 strikeout to walk ratio over 48 innings of work. Hey, don't get me wrong, the Jays have been great, and I've played them on several times over the last couple of weeks with great success. And they clearly have a real shot at making the playoffs. But I just think that this particular matchup is a poor one for the aggressive hitting lineup of the Jays. Uh, Toronto, well, they counter with the volatile Chase Anderson, who is 0-0 with a 4.94 ERA, who was shelled for six runs off nine hits and a walk over four innings in what turned out to be a, a very fortunate no decision versus the Red Sox last time out. Uh, if we look a little closer, though, we see that Anderson actually got lucky in that one. It could have been, in fact, a lot worse as four of the six runs charged to him came on three home runs in the second inning. Hey, Anderson has just 21 strikeouts over 23.2 innings of work, and I absolutely expect him to struggle outside, uh, struggle opposite arguably the best pitcher in the world right now. I like New York to take advantage of the starting pitching matchup, and I look for it to find a way to get the job done at the end of the night. So that's my play, taking DeGrom and the Mets on the road on this one. I definitely we agree. DeGrom should be the favorite here. He is one of the best aces out there right now. He's not easily fadeable. And Anderson is just kind of rinky-dink with what's going down with him. I checked out their last five games. Both of these teams have won three and lost two. But over the last five, the Mets have scored 36 runs. And the Blue Jays, who I think there are offenses out of this world have only scored 34 runs so only two less but the point that i'm making here is both of these teams score a ton of runs and especially because that line moved from eight to eight and a half i'm going to play on the over eight and a half runs here that's what i think is going to happen degrom will pitch but i think the mets are going to smack up anderson and then when degrom's done i think the blue jays are going to try to fight right back they've gone into extra innings 11 times this season Compare that to a team like, like the Yankees, who've gone to extra innings three times. Tells me, I've said this before, the Blue Jays want to play, they want to win, and they're willing to fight you for it. So I am going to take the over eight and a half runs on the Mets. Thank you guys for joining us. Tim Michael, why don't you tell us what you've got going on at picksandparlay.net? Allie, you know, we can uh, basically, I've got a full lineup, all sports. Uh, your best bet with me is to take a uh, multi-day, multi-buy with me and take advantage of the uh, of uh, a bulk buy and uh, get in on there for a week buy or a month-long buy with me. Excellent. All right. Well, you at home, check that out at picksandparlays.net. He's Tim Michael, and he says, lay the minus 155 with the Mets. I'm Allie Burns. This is Picks and Parlays.